We are gonna go pick some strawberries. We want fresh strawberries. I wanna make a strawberry tart. That'd be tasty. I can throw some strawberries in my What, your oatmeal? Yeah, my Greek my dry Your oat, raw oats. My raw oats or my Greek yogurt or something. But I, I think strawberry season's actually over in April, so I wanted us to go and get some because that's something Oh, we're falling. I've wanted to do that, but I've, I've never done it. How bad was me trying to get dressed this morning? I'm like, do I wear active wear? Do I wear boots? What do I wear to a farm? Like, you have dots on. Huh? And you're wearing, in your like tights. And yeah. you're wearing red, so. I look like a berry. You may look like, you may dress like a strawberry to make the other strawberries not feel unwelcome. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was this one. There we go. Me by myself. <laughs> when I had a shower earlier, um, I was trying to dry my hair with a towel a little bit, and um, the hair clips went flying. Where did it go? I don't know, just like flew like meters behind me. I was like, I forgot I had that in there. But I'll need that. I use it to like roll my hair up. We can't bring our own containers, so they've given us these plastic ones, but it's fine. We have to go find the field with the green flag. So strawberries don't get any riper when you pick them. Like it's not the kind of fruit that you can pick and then they continue to ripen at home. So we have to pick them when they're red because that means they're actually ready to go. Anything that's not red yet isn't ready. I see the green flag all the way down there. It's so muddy. I'm glad I just wore cheap boots. These look so good. Inspector. Look how bad mine are. <gasps> Good morning. Yes, pajamas. Hair is in the the roll thing. I wanted to show you this though. Got my Invisalign notches off three days ago. Two days ago, something like that. I haven't seen my teeth without the notches for like six months and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it feels so much better too to not have them like bumping up against your lip. I still have another tray now because she wants me to whiten my teeth in this tray. Anyway, that's just my random update for today. Let's make a really low fuss tart today. Cooking from scratch like this is something I love to do when I've got a little bit of extra time. 
As Judith B. Jones said, cooking demands attention, patience, and above all, a respect for the gifts of the earth. Now the full recipe with all the instructions and macros is over on my blog Eat Run Lift and it's linked in the description box. To make our crust I'm combining two and a half cups of almond flour, a third of a cup of erythritol, a pinch of sea salt and mixing them together. Next in a small bowl combine half a teaspoon of vanilla extract into a quarter of a cup of melted ghee and pour that into the flour followed by one egg. Mix, mix, mix and keep mixing until it all comes together. Pour it into a tart pan that's been greased. Now we want to poke some holes in the top to stop it from bubbling and bake it for 12 to 15 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius or 347 Fahrenheit. I want to thank today's video sponsor Squarespace. They host my website Eat Run Lift as well as my personal journal. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform and I've used them for a really really long time now. It's honestly the easiest way to showcase your brand or your band or a portfolio or whatever else it is that you want to share. They also have a world-class 24-7 customer support service team and streamlined blogging capabilities, some of the best that I've ever used. I used to use another platform to host my blog, but when it started growing and I really needed expanded features and the ability to customize more things, as well as manage it myself instead of using a web developer, Squarespace was my go-to ever since then. It's also really simple to create a website which represents your brand. They have these plug and play templates and you can customize them in their inbuilt editor. Or if you want to get into the nitty gritty, you can jump in and do custom coding yourself like I do. Jump on over and start a free trial with Squarespace today and when you're ready to press publish use the link in the description box or the one that I've written on the screen for 10% off your first purchase. Now it's time to make the filling for our tart. So I'm going to combine 340 grams, which is about 12 ounces of light cream cheese. I just used the Philadelphia brand one. I'm adding in half a cup of powdered monk fruit extract or powdered erythritol would also work. Half a teaspoon of almond extract, five tablespoons of low fat heavy cream. I used the Bula brand. And then I put six strawberries into a blender and I pureed them and poured them in. top it with some fresh strawberries. I'm also adding in some almond flakes and you might like to add on some fresh mint or even some lemon zest. Decorating this reminded me of when I was like 16. I used to work in a salad shop and they would let me decorate the yogurts in the morning because they always sold more yogurts when I decorated them really pretty. Obviously, you don't have to go on adventure like I did, but the memories, you know? It's like the perfect treat to share, and there's no added sugar as well. Um, I always try to do that with desserts, just because of my PCOS. If you make this, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your finished product.